All right, everybody, grab your yoga mat, sit down in lotus position, and crack open a beer because we are in Rishikesh. Yeah, if you don't know by now, we're the budgeteers. We're three travelers from Colombia, Belgium, and England, and we travel on a budget. We just took a 22 hour local bus from Manali to get here, so hopefully it's worth it. So, Elena, be a darling and roll the intro. Series 3 is brought to you by Wondergo, a brand new app for travellers. Download it for free on iOS and Android. Previously on The Budgeteers. We had an incredible week in the beautiful town of Manali. Not only did we meet some awesome locals, but we also got to try our hands at paragliding, which was a pretty interesting experience to say the least. Ooh. Oh. Ah! oh shit, my pants! <laughs> we also got to tick off a very random bucket list item of making a snowman in India. We finished our fourth budget here. We made a snowman. All right. In the Himalayas. Yeah. However, after our incredible time in the mountains, we had to start making our way back south. And all of the backpackers that we met on this trip could not recommend Rishikesh higher enough. The only thing between us and Rishikesh, however, was an 18 hour long bus journey. And if that wasn't daunting enough, once we found our bus, you can guess which of us three didn't have a single inch of legroom. <laughs> That's my leg room, mate. Shake the fucking leg room. That's my leg room, mate. Proper shite, mate. A celebration. Alright. Alright. Three, two, one. That's proper shite beer, mate. <laughs> Still not in Rishikesh. We're in a little place called Hardiwar, Haridwar, Hogwarts. Hardiwar. Hogwarts. We came through the back end of every part of India to get here today. Fucking hell, I didn't sleep until seven o'clock in the morning. My glutes and my legs hurt so much. Uh, we had the option to go in an AC Volvo uh, or the local bus, but the AC Volvo. It was nearly a hundred dollars for three of us. It was more than twice the price. It was triple the price. And uh, you know, we're the budgeteers, so we're gonna go for the cheapest option. But 17 hours in a local bus, man. We still need to find the bus station to take us to the actual Rishikesh, rest up, realign our spines, and have a beer, right? We haven't seen enough buses yet. <laughs> Yeah. 17 hours on a bus and five minutes later we're on another bus! 25 kilometers and an hour and a half later we're in Rishikesh. Thank you. Who would have thought cucumber would have tasted this good, huh? It's our breakfast of the day. I don't know, a line. Can you do it for half? One fifty. <laughs> Come to Rishikesh, they said. Relax in the mountains. 
mountains, they said. Peace and quiet. <laughs> And so, after that crazy long bus ride of an entire night and day, we were so happy to check in at another beautiful Zostel, where we were dying to catch up on some much needed showers, food and sleep, and eager to explore Rishikesh the next day. Out, guys. Did it work? Yeah, one second. Can you oh. sure? Yeah, 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 hold it on. Wow, that's incredible. Alright, so if you like Never them, if not, did I think we'd get a clear bridge. No. <laughs> if you don't like them, I'm happy to take more. I got lucky. <laughs> nice. Let's do one more in this okay. Whoa. Look at that one. Thank wow! You. Thank you so much. Have fun. Time to do that. Thank you. What's your name? Kristen. Oh, Kristen. these are good. Yeah. Oh yeah. This awesome woman wasn't wrong when she said that we were lucky. When we arrived, it was a bank holiday and the city was packed. <laughs> So instead of exploring downtown Rishikesh, we just walked away from the crowds, up the river, and it wasn't long before we found something incredible. So, I think we found paradise here, haven't we guys? It is the perfect weather today. It's really nice and hot, over 30 degrees. There's a nice chill breeze, and we've got the cool water to cool us down when we get overheated. Working on our tans, and we've got some nice food as well. I don't know about you guys, but I was not expecting white sandy beaches and crystal clear water in the mountains. Exactly. But we found it. Chill vibes. We've got Shakira on the sound speaker. And we've just had a nice packed lunch. We've got waves, sun, white sand. <laughs> Chill vibes. <laughs> Tyus is getting his own music out now. Why? Shakira. You're such a miserable bastard. We give Tyus a lot of shit, but to be fair, we feel him. We all needed a day to just relax. If you come to India, guys, you'll realize that at times it gets to be a bit too much. And after backpacking India for nearly a month, it was incredible to do absolutely nothing except lay on the beach, take in the sun, and recharge our drained batteries. But it wasn't long before. New Vegetarians game for you. We have the Skipping Rock Championship. So, over here in the left corner from Belgium, standing at seven feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> how's Doing the weather up there? <laughs> over here from London, England. <laughs> Standing at only five feet, <laughs> the Padmeister General. Oh, yeah. Rules are simple. You throw it, you count how many skims, and the winner goes into the final against Lena. And distance. Distance counts? Distance counts. All right. Ties, ladies first. One, two, three, Oy, four. I give you that four. That was a bad one. That was a bad one. That was four. One. One. <laughs> That wasn't fair. You gave me a bad rock. <laughs> oh, oh, that wasn't fair. Tyler's has got four, so this goes on top of you four. So if you get another four, it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Five plus one is six. Ties wins and goes into the final. Lena, you're up. She's <laughs> from Colombia. She's a moody, psycho, loner girl. She's single, ready to mingle. And she's doing a weird dance. You have to say my name. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right, how do you skip a rock? <laughs> we just done it. You got It's all in the wrist. Nice, fast and hard, you know? That rings a bell. <laughs> 
two. Hey! And the distance was really far. The winner is. How's the weather up there, Tizy boy? <laughs> okay, cool. We've had a really lovely, lovely afternoon on the beach, and now we are going to walk over the really famous bridge in Rishikesh and go and enjoy a lovely sunset. Let's pack up our stuff and take yeah. away our trash because this place is pretty much the cleanest place we've seen in all yeah. of India. And then go to the bridge. Under the bridge down to... Stop! <laughs> heaven. There's um, some Hare Krishna dudes playing music and for the first time in my entire life Hare Krishnas are not annoying me. They're actually amazing. They are really talented musicians singing a really nice song. Providing background music for this beautiful scene. The only thing I don't really like about the music is the lyrics because it's Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna and that is it. Yeah. The... They should be like Hare Krishna is a fucking legend. And He's then, better than Jesus. And then, and then a guitar solo. <laughs> um, but yeah, seriously, the sun is going down. We're watching the rafters coming through the river. There's people dancing, people meditating, people chilling. Lots of selfies being taken. Also, there's a very obvious lack of beer in our hands. The nearest beer shop is 12 kilometers away. We've got water. Let's try water. Maybe if we meditate, we can turn it into beer. <laughs> We'll see you guys tomorrow. We have a bit of an action day planned. We want to try and do some rafting, yeah. maybe do a little trek, and uh, do some yoga because this is the capital of the yoga world and meditation. So, uh, if you're into that sort of thing, we're not really into yoga, but we'll give it a go, eh? Yeah, definitely try it. We'll do a free you plant based cake. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow, and we're going to enjoy this lovely afternoon. Lean back. So you're probably wondering why we're, why we're walking in the middle of nowhere, but we have heard that there is a really cool waterfall up ahead, so that's why we walked from Rishikesh across the bridge into the woods in search of this magical waterfall. I'm kind of scared of clowns. Clowns? <laughs> Cows. Uh, right, so the trail to the waterfall starts right here next to this thingy majiggy. So since it was the bank holiday, it was so nice to get out of the hustle and bustle of downtown Rishikesh and get into the countryside. This trek took us about two hours. All you have to do is cross over Rishikesh pedestrian bridge, head north and you'll find the start of the trail. There are no guides or signposts anywhere, but all you have to do is follow the sound of the trickling stream and make your way through the forest until you finally find the first waterfall. 
This first waterfall was beautiful, but there was a few too many people there. All you have to do is keep walking and keep following the stream and eventually, after some perseverance, you will find yourselves your very own private waterfall in the middle of the Rishikesh mountains. Our own waterfall. So we couldn't come all this way and finding our very own beautiful waterfall without busting out the GoPro and doing what cringy YouTubers do best, and that is a waterfall montage, baby. However, I was being so cringy that Ties burst into a fit of laughter and nearly drowned. But luckily, we were there to save him. I'm alive. He's alive. <laughs> we saved him. Anyway, guys, we thought we were gonna go rafting today, but it's already a bit late and it was really busy, so that's why we came back to this place. Oh, paradise. Our private beach that's not that private anymore. That's all right. And we're gonna go rafting tomorrow. Today, we're just gonna chill out a bit more because it was really hot and we're tired after that walk. And we're just gonna enjoy the sunset together and have some dinner later and have a really chill night. Whether you are into yoga and meditation or not, you have to come to Rishikesh. I mean, just look at it. Next morning, we woke up in our beautiful Zamstel and we enjoyed their daily and also free yoga class. Give it a try guys, it's good fun. Even for an inflexible, lanky beginner like me. Not only does the hostel provide free yoga classes, they also arrange rafting tours on the famous Ganges River. So we didn't hesitate and jumped in the back of the jeep and rode 20 kilometers upstream to where the bright green Ganges comes down from the Himalayas.
Try and dry on the walk back. Yeah, good idea. Hey guys, so we've come back down to our private little secret, actually not really not that so secret, secret. <laughs> uh, beach uh, to do budgeteers yoga. So like Lena said at the start of the episode, yeah. grab your yoga mats or if you like, towels. we've got our towels, grab your yoga mats or grab a beer and uh, get ready for an intense but free budgeteers yoga session. Get ready right. to sweat, 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 sweat. Nice. nice. Welcome, welcome to, to the, the Budgeteers yoga, yoga class. Okay guys, welcome to the first move here at the Budgeteers Yoga class. Obviously here on the Budgeteers, we love a little bit of hitchhiking, even though we haven't done that much in this series, but that's because we love the train so much and the roads are such nightmares. But in order to get a good ride, you need to have that hitchhiking pose ready. So first thing you need to do is you need to put your right leg on your left knee. Well done. Then stick out your big thumb on your right hand and you want to wave down the car with your left. Do it five times. One, two, hold that core. Three, keep your balance. Four, five. And if you're very advanced, you can even... <laughs> so here at the Budgeteers, um, especially in India, diarrhea could strike at any time. So you do need to have your legs flexed and ready for the diarrhea pose. So turn 90 degrees to the left. And what you want to do is you want to bend down, keep that back straight. Keep that toilet paper handy. If you have it. And keep your back straight and put your right arm on your right leg, left arm on your left leg, and squat down. Give it a little shake and up. Thank you very much. Now time for Lena's poses. So the next pose we're going to be working on is the beer drinker. So for this one, you're going to need to come down onto your knees. Keeping your pelvis tucked under, you're going to slightly bend back, reaching for your ankle or the floor or the with beer. one hand. And with the other hand, take that beer up to your mouth, head back, and up again. Nice. Let's do that again. Holding it for 10 seconds. Here we go. Coming back and 10. And nine, keep breathing. Oh, fuck. Eight. I'm already out. <laughs> and six. All right, the next move is called the laughing fit. So, for this one, I'm going to show you sideways so you can check out my form. <laughs> All right, so you're going to slightly bend your knees, feet about hip width apart, and you're going to come over straight back. Now, if you're a beginner, what I want you to do is place your hands on your knees to give you support. If you're... <laughs> Beto! Sorry. Now, make sure you make a face like you can't stop laughing and you can't really breathe. And just remember to not breathe throughout this pose. <laughs> Again, if you're extremely advanced, try shedding a tear and holding this pose for 20 minutes while your friends wait to hear the punchline of the joke you haven't even finished. All right, on to the next move. It is called the lanky Belgian move, or otherwise more worldly known as the no leg room. For this, we'll sit down in this position 
and we'll cramp our legs up as far as you can until it's really uncomfortable. And if you're really advanced, you will hold this pose for another 22 hours. <laughs> Just like we did on the bus. Just like we did on the bus. If this is still comfortable, then try shaking around and sleeping at the same time. Now we've come on to our final pose and we're gonna relax a little bit. That's why we have the sleeping in the airport pose. If you've watched series one, this is episode two, if you get the reference. You lay down on the ground and you spread out and then you go limp and try to sleep. This pose should make up for any loss loss of sleep that you had while on your trip. All right, after a great workout and a nice yoga session, we always like to finish in the lotus position. So coming down onto your bum, we finish with a nice, strong arm. With your hands over your heart. Ready? One, two, three. Um, look at up here. I want some tacos. Right now in my face. Thank you. Yeah. Watch it here's yoga, patent pending. Once the weekend was over, Rishikesh became this blissful place to be. So we actually stayed a few more days and enjoyed the chilled out atmosphere even more. However, here at The Budgeteers, we can never stay in a place for too long without getting itchy feet and wanting to get back on the road. And so, as a trio, we decided the best place we should visit next was the spiritual and ancient town of Varanasi. It would mean another mammoth train journey, but before we could even think about the train, there was a death-defying bus journey we had to get out of the way first. Amazingly, we made it to the train station in one piece and we had booked a overnight sleeper train ticket like everyone in the comments section has been asking us to do. But when we got to the train station, there was some pretty big problems. Hello. Namaste. Or namaste. <laughs> ah, another joke that was mine. Thanks for watching the Rishikesh episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Did you enjoy your Rishikesh? I did. Yeah, it actually turned out to be a really chill town when all the tourists left. Yeah, we, 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 we arrived on the busiest weekend there is, and so the first few days we were like, ah, oh, this place is too busy. But then we found a white sandy beach and a nice private little place to swim, and we had some fun. Didn't we? Yeah. The rafting was cool, the yoga was interesting, and yeah, overall we had a good time in Rishikesh. I think if you're into meditation, if you're into yoga, you, you will absolutely love Rishikesh. We actually booked a some tickets on a sleeper train, like a proper sleeper train, to head to Varanasi, and we've just two days got, in advance. Two days in advance. We've just gotten here, only to find out that our train has been drum roll, please, cancelled. Last minute. Yeah. Hi, can we have our tickets to the train, please? The train has been cancelled. Oh great. When's the next one? Two o'clock in the morning. Do you have any yeah. tickets? No tickets available, just general class. So in the next episode, you'll see if we do make it to Varanasi. We're not the only people in this situation. Just take a look around here. You'll see all, like literally nearly a thousand people who are like angry and pissed off because the train has been canceled. So we're, we're in it with them and we're just gonna try and get through the night. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us and we will see you next week. Oops.
we've just arrived in Varanasi and it's freaking hectic. The ceremony starts at 7 and uh, we now have less than 20 minutes to, yeah, get, to there. get there. Into this crazy traffic. Let's go. And these guys are not fit, so there's that too. Okay. <laughs>